I have this um, Hewlett Packard 8640B signal generator that just uh, stopped working on me. I was driving an RF amplifier with about uh, one of the highest ranges. I was probably driving it at about plus 15 dBm. And I'd never had any problem with this, and I always figured that it was, um, it had SWR protection. I um, didn't worry about it. But I guess what happened was something in it overheated and blew. So after that, the output was very low, and I couldn't adjust the output. So I'm going to show how I came across um, repairing this and uh, got it working again. Putting the scope on the output, it still puts out a signal, but uh, you can't adjust it. Um, you can't adjust the output level. If you uh, change the settings of the attenuator, it will go down, but you can't adjust the actual level. And another thing, the meter won't, uh, the meter reads zero. Now, if you take the panels off, this, um, you can see the signal path in this uh, signal generator. Here I'm taking the RF out, and here is the attenuator unit, which uh, with the gear driven attenuator, which is turned by this switch here. Now, the attenuator unit is fed here through this RF waveguide from here and says RF out and RF in. This unit here is a big box with a number of circuit boards in it and um, this normally has a metal top. Now you can see the signal path through here and uh, it looks like this unit here, which is probably an integrated circuit of some kind, uh, is the final amplifier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that out and I'm going to look and see if there is a signal that comes in, where it comes in and where it comes out. So I'm taking the signal off there, which is would be the output of that module there. And uh, it's 28 megahertz, which is the right frequency, but it's uh, very low. It's only 84 millivolts. Now I'm checking the RF input signal to that module. And there I'm getting a nice, clean, much bigger 28 megahertz signal. So the problem is obviously this module. So I'll order one and I'll replace it. Getting parts for these is getting harder and harder all the time. They don't make them anymore. This unit's probably 40 years old. So I have to look on eBay and see if anyone's selling one that uh, is um, ripped from an old one, an old uh, signal generator. So I was able to get a new uh, power amplifier and uh, well not new but um, one that was taken out it was a working one that was taken out of a of a junked uh, 8640B. So one of the reasons I think that this uh, failed, maybe the number one reason, is because there's no silicon, almost no silicon grease on it. So, um, see on the bottom of this new one, there's nothing. So I'm going to have to put a bunch of silicon grease on it. And then there I've applied uh, quite a bit of silicon grease to the, between where the power amplifier and the heat sink is. So now I'll put the power amplifier in and then we'll see how warm it gets. So here I've replaced the power amplifier and 
now we're able to adjust the output and I'm getting a very nice output it's going up to plus 20 dBm and the meter is working the meter is working also and telling me when I'm too high which is something it did before so this unit seems to be working quite well and as far as uh, the power amplifier getting hot I've had it on now for a good five minutes and it's barely you can barely feel the heat the other one over there is about the same so obviously putting a heat sink compound on it was a very good idea because before it was getting noticeably hot even after a minute's use so hopefully that uh, will solve the problem but I'm not going to run it when I use it for driving uh, amplifiers in the future I'm not going to drive it too hard